please explain that was that was terrible that went down last the last tribal q it was like don't get rid of dd whatever you do and i was like dude i already set all this shit up (laughs) i don't know i think it's a bad move talked about it more and then i was like oh shit well we definitely want to try to be united in how we vote tonight because it's three three or two or like five you know what i'm saying it's a very small chance you know so like who do you think everyone is leading towards because i still i didn't talk to anyone else yet so far and like I'm, i still feel like an outsider but i just want to know sure. what you're deciding to do i i don't know because i talked to q next and i know she's not a really fan but she's also not a patrick fan damn oh i thought it was um it's a normal conversation with alex where he's so agreeable and wants to do whatever he can do uh, to stay on the team. And so, I don't know, they blindsided me the other night and I don't trust them. So during, when you were in exile, um, I'm gonna be honest, like some people were saying like, you know, if really wasn't on exile, they would have voted you out. And yeah. you know, internally for me, I didn't think of that because I was like, really is the only other outsider besides me at this point, you know? So right. I try to keep you. So I'm glad that you were sent in exile and now you're back. Um, me I too. Don't, I don't know what they're thinking in terms of like, whether or not they want to send you home again. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the thinking that, but I do know that I'm going to give you some insider tea from when you're in exile. They have, there's some cracks in Team Rona that I found out is basically between Patrick and Carrie. They don't get along. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, like I had a, a one-on-one last night with Carrie. Okay. Um, and she she had, Patrick was one of the first names out of her mouth. So I did talk about not wanting to be a leader in terms of making decisions, but um, I thought about it and it had to be done. And since Didi is on Exile tonight, I don't know, maybe we could talk to Patrick. I'm talking to Patrick later on today, but like maybe we could have a similar vote together, like all three of us, and it would be tied, you know? I know Patrick doesn't like Carrie, and I know that Carrie had everyone gang up on Patrick to get him out before. So it's like we could talk to Patrick and maybe settle this together and get perhaps like one of them out, Carrie or Q. Um, I have nothing against them. I love them. It's just like they are really competitive and they are really, um, what's it called? They are really uh, strong as a couple. Like they're they're a good pair. And so if I tell Patrick to vote out Carrie, maybe, I think he will be more on board. In Online Survival 2, Alex came up with a great plan after he lost one of his allies after the tribe swap to try to get Carrie with a K out of the game and who better to go to than carry with the k's rival patty and rayleigh who was also on the outs in this team this is a great moment because it is the first real blind side ever on this channel in a survival game and alex patty rayleigh pulled it off he did have a little bit of a uh, shade towards you though uh, patrick did yeah, Patrick, I don't, you two need to, I hope you two have a talk because you two need to hash out whatever that issue is. Q warned me basically that, you know, Patrick has his eyes on me. It's a pre-warning hot stir. That's what he is. But he did say that he's willing to, you know, bypass any personal issues he has for now just to strengthen the team. So I think that's admirable. Beautiful. We'll do that. You keep getting high scores and I'll just shut my mouth. But I'm really not worried about Patrick at all. I don't feel like he's a threat. He doesn't have any alliances. Dee Dee's gone, so I'm not sure who he exactly could get into an alliance. It seems like what they want is really out. Um, And I'm gonna be honest with you, like, I think after that, I believe it's going to be you. It was uh, very informative uh, to kind of find out that Carrie and Q had a devised a strategy to possibly eliminate me after the next challenge. I know there was some bad blood going in for whatever reason. So I'm trying to figure out, the thing is like, 
me and Riley are both on the outsiders. Like we're not in Team Rona. We don't know you guys. Dude, you know. dude I, I'm in the same boat as you right now. So yeah. They're, they're strategically trying to get rid of me because Carrie sees me as a threat. So yeah, you know that, that that's been her. Uh, that's been her. her yeah. At the moment, that's her like mission. And like, I, do you know if she has an advantage? Because I feel like I think she won a challenge once, like early on, and like she had to stay after. I don't know if she has an advantage or not, but if she goes into the merge with that advantage, it is going to be a little scary for me at least, or for everyone, I guess. Um, and I don't know if you know any of that. Do you know if she has one? Um, she won. She won the geography challenge on our our, our team that one day. Yeah. So she was she was the one to get the most right. Yeah. And um. I, I don't know what the inner workings of that afterwards and the private con conversation with Nick was. Right. So I, I don't know if she has like a, a wild card where she can get a free pass or any of that. Yeah, she, she's been pretty tight lipped about that. Um, yeah. Especially with me. And how about Dee Dee? How do you, like, is she work? Like, are you two more close than you, you are with the other people in Rona? Um, I, I've had the most private conversations with her, but Dee Dee. To me, seems the most sincere, the most uh, level-headed. She's probably the straight shooter out of the group. Okay. Uh, she she doesn't have a problem, uh, you know, coming up with her beefs or anything like that. Right. So, right. so this is what happened with me and Rayleigh. Rayleigh talked with me first, and she mm -hmm. kind of really like spiraling. She's a little scared, obviously. Um, she's been kind of like performing kind of bad to in challenges, so she kind of knows already. And so she was like, you know, whoever is on the outs of those two is is already going to be next, you know. And yeah. she was like, is there any way we can somehow put the tie now with with the votes that we can get, and you know, for the next one, we'll be in the majority. And so she was saying like maybe perhaps some like Hugh or Carrie. And now that I'm thinking about it, like if Carrie does have an advantage, we can maybe blindside her. And I don't know if you will be on on board with that and i'm know i you a lot by telling you but i need it one more um, person, i guess i would be up for eliminating carrier tonight and okay. we have the majority if me you and what was her name again i'm sorry really really from team cleaners if we were up to eliminating her tonight me and you have the majority and really yeah. has it as well so yeah. I, I think getting rid of carrie would probably cut the cancer out of the team Patrick, right now, is a number that we need, and those two need to get over any issues that they have. Yeah. All right, real quick, everybody is going Rayleigh, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. She scored the weakest, so let's That's get rid I'm of it. That's what I'm going off of, Patty. I told her, yet, told her yesterday when I talked to her, I'm going off score. I can't, I can't take anybody else off that had lower, so. Okay. It's fair enough. I think it's she knows. Though. I think oh. she knows. When, I mean, yeah. I'm not expecting too many surprises tonight. No, well, it's just she, probably going to run. She was on Exile, though, so I don't know, Patty, if you can tell us if there's any type of advantage that she could have. No, with Exile, I I, I wasn't even able to watch any of your, your guys' conversations. And all I, I had, my confessionals were only two questions at a night. So, and they were very simple format. It was pretty lame being in Exile, but I did, I was able to um up my kitchen skills and do some bed bread break baking and make some dumplings and stuff so that I, I did have a little extra time to myself nice. so there should be no blind sides from really tonight in terms of an idol no no I, I don't think she has a free pass i never got a free pass i hope i hope not all right i'll see you two in a few minutes then okay all right bye, bye. Bye. If anybody has an advantage and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right. I will read the votes. The person voted out will have a bit to say their final words. The first vote is for Rayleigh. Second vote is for Rayleigh. The third vote 
is for Carrie. <coughs> the fourth vote is for Carrie. We have a tie so far with one vote left. The next person voted out of the game is Carrie with a K. You have been voted out. The team has spoken. If you have any last words. No, I don't have any last words. I will also like to note that the other Carrie was voted out tonight too. So both Carrie's oh. got. I'm very sorry, Carrie K. Okay. They blindsided us. Alrighty. It's been great. Carrie, I will uh, email you later. Okay. For now, you must leave, though. I feel like my elimination from the team was super early, super power play really kind of dumb for my team. They could have used my help in challenges, um, but again, I didn't see it. It was completely blindsided out, out of nowhere. Did I have any clue whatsoever besides um, Q telling me that something might be up, but I really didn't think that anything would happen to me. So shocking, really. And that's why I didn't have any words to say because I felt like it was a stupid move, but guess we'll see how it works out.